Made it to the top of the cliff, show them the jump. Starting this weekend off with a short little hike up to Snow Lake. It's gonna be fun. This is a super popular hike though, because it's so close to Seattle. We did this hike a few years ago. This will be our first time back in like three or four years. It's been a minute. It is a beautiful, beautiful lake. Super cool blue colors, so yeah. So yeah. Typical PNW weekend for us. Yeah, I'll bring yeah. you guys along. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a weekend, man. Check it in. How far away you think? Uh, probably, I think we're probably in this trail about a mile and a half, maybe two miles. Coming up on two. Coming up on two at least, for sure. So, just trucking along. This trail isn't too challenging. It's about 1,800 foot of gain across three and a half miles. So, pretty like middle of the road. Can't wait to get up there, see the lake again. Maybe jump in. We also packed some coffee. Some coffee boy. In my pack. Gotta have the coffee. It's a little after 8 a.m. so we're gonna get up there, probably brew a nice cup of joe, enjoy some lake views, and then maybe we'll hop in. Do a little like polar plunge because the lake's probably gonna be freezing, but it's gonna feel good after this hike. Look at these views. Hella nice. Incredible views on the way up. Let me make sure I don't fall off the trail. <laughs> that would not be good. Beautiful PNW, beautiful Washington. Can't beat it. about 472 steps later. This is what you call nature's stairmaster. You don't need a gym membership, just come out here, hike some, hike some stairs. <laughs> no drone, sorry guys. I was kind of hoping to get an aerial shot, but not gonna be able to. Can't fly drones anywhere out here, dude. I feel like. No. Most places out here just don't allow drones. Whew. But we're coming over the hill now. We should be able to see the lake from here. And we've officially made it. Oh yeah. It's actually a ways down there to get down there. Next. Next. 
All right, made it to the viewpoint. Now we are hiking down to the lake to get to the lake shore. So, you gonna go in, man? Easy. <laughs> Easy, the man says. <laughs> I probably feel pretty good. <laughs> Look at this view, though. She's a beauty. <laughs> Just think I have something to say to you. What do you gotta say, man? It's a beautiful lake, man. Beautiful views. Wow, that's a sick camping spot. Yeah, dude. There's little Caleb looking for a cliff jumping spot. I'm trying to remember where it is. It's been at least probably four years since we've been to this lake. And the last time we did it, we found a little cliff. Oh. Watch your step. <laughs> But last time we did it, we found a little cliff that we that we were able to jump off of. And now we're trying to find that again. But it's been so long, kind of forget exactly where it is. So we're kind of meandering around until we find it. But beautiful views nonetheless. It's like aqua blue right here. So cool. Here's kind of a POV of what we're looking at. Just pretty much mountain goading it along this trail. This cliff, not really a trail, just straight up traversing this hill. I don't know where I am. He made it down to the point, it looks like. Look at this water. So clean, so blue. And just so beautiful. And these views. But we have not found the cliff jumping spot yet, so I think it's over there. Caleb's over there right now, scoping it out. I'm pretty sure it's over there. Is this it? Oh yeah, I think we found it. Yep. That's it. You just run off of here. Do, 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 do. Drop about 25 feet into the water. Uh, it's a good sized jump, but it's fun. All right, now we're looking along the lake shore for a place to set up, relax, maybe make some coffee. It's not, it's not like ice cold. It's like refrigerator cold. You heard it here first. It's not ice cold. It's refrigerator cold. <laughs> All right. We're gonna post up here, set our chairs up, make a cup of coffee, and uh, take in the views. Alrighty, it's coffee time.
The best thing in the world, man. Smell the cop. Oh, never beat it. Might be a little precarious, but. like this is bringing these chairs man you gotta have them super easy to set up then you just sit back and relax take in the view Caleb's got to prepare his. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, we almost spilt the almost spilt the water. Fun fact is that well not really a fun fact, but it's kind of funny that we're both probably equally addicted to coffee. You guys know how much I love coffee. Kill loves coffee probably just as much. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe just a little bit less. Maybe a little bit less. He doesn't film it like I do, so. But we love just getting up here and making a cup of joe. We've been doing that way before I started filming it. It's been a part of our lives for years. And now I just record it and bring it to you guys because I feel like other people enjoy it just as much too. This is quite the backdrop though for a cup of joe. Look at this place. Caleb and I, we've been doing trips like this for so long. And I'm just now starting to record them for YouTube, but we've been doing this since high school. And Washington is a beautiful place to be doing it. Because, I mean, look at these views. Ah, it's I incredible. That smell, man. That beautiful, crisp Pacific Northwest air. Crisp, clean lakes. The dirt up here, dude. That's awesome. It's just beautiful, man. P and W. There's nothing like it. Summer times in the P and W. Unbeatable. Ow! That's hot, man. Do not touch a boiling pot of water, man. Turns out it's pretty hot. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Ah. Wow, that is a strong cup of coffee, man. It's a hell of you, dude. It's like a straight shot of espresso, this guy said. A cup of these, man. That'll, get, that'll wake you up, man. But yeah, unfortunately, you, probably, you guys can probably hear it in the, in the video audio. Unfortunately, a little windy, man. And it's chilly up here. It's definitely not making the idea of getting into the water any easier. <laughs> Water's already freezing cold, and then the wind on top of it. You guys might see it on my Instagram story. I post some updates every now and again. We're actually training for a half marathon in October. It's about a month and a half away. We have a half marathon. We've been doing tons of running for training. So a little ice bath in this cold lake, it's probably gonna feel pretty good. Some people got in over there, it sounds like. Finish up our cup of coffee. Caleb's doing a little feet test. How is it? It's doable, bearable. It's gonna be cold, but 
I think it should be pretty nice. You! How is it? It's cold, but it's not horrible. It's cold, but it feels good. <gasps> yeah, buddy. Now I gotta do it. Frick! <laughs> now I gotta go in, dude. Shoot. I don't know if I want to. It's cold. You! Let's go, baby. It is definitely not warm, man. This water is cold. Had a kid. Successful jump in. But now the wind is freezing. <laughs> Caleb's climbing up now to go check out the cliff jumping spot. And we're going to see how it looks from down here, if I filmed it from down here. There's Caleb way up there. That's the jump. I would say it's probably like a 25 foot jump or so. All right, Caleb said he's ready to send it. There he is, way up there. <laughs> yeah, dude, send it. <laughs> How was it? Good. Okay. Uh, that means I gotta do it, man. Flip. Made to the top of the cliff, show him the jump. Let's get it, I guess. <laughs> one way to get the adrenaline going that's kind of a sketchy cliff because you got to like run out and jump over a good amount of rocks but we felt pretty confident that we'd be able to make the jump so we just yeah. had a sender and it was a good one man it's fun now we're trying to dry off and warm up because it's freezing i'm shivering that was fun it's always fun getting up in the Alpine Lakes and uh, doing some cliff jumping, man. Just such a unique place to go cliff jumping. A cold plunge. Just out here in the mountains in a beautiful lake. And you ready, dude? I feel I want to go in and sit in the water for about two minutes, do like a two minute cold plunge. Should we film it? Set it up the tripod. All right, I guess we'll go in for do a little cold plunge for about three minutes. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Going for a three minute cold plunge. The, the best view you could ask for for a cold plunge. <laughs> Three minutes, baby. Let's go. <sighs> Three minutes is up. Now we gotta dunk the heads. Hard to beat that right there, 
Cold plunge is complete. How do we feel? He just finished his 24 hour fast, so he just broke fast right after the cold plunge. Great, man. I did my fast yesterday, but I had to put my long sleeve bag on because I'm actually pretty cold. <laughs> just trying to warm back up. But it feels so good. So yeah, we're gonna get, a, get some snacks in, do a little grubbing. And then we'll probably pack up here pretty soon. Make our way out of here. And then we'll be heading further east across the pass. This this trailhead's right at Snoqualmie Summit. So like we're at the very peak of the, of the pass. And we're gonna keep heading east once we get out of here. And we're gonna go to a campground. Campground's called Salmon Lassac Campground. And we're gonna go see if we can get lucky on a camping spot. Fingers crossed that we do. This guy's putting all his stuff in my bag, making me carry it down. <laughs> Josh likes workouts, so. Yeah, I just consider it extra calories burned, I guess, huh? We're gonna start making our way back to the car. It's been a beautiful, beautiful morning up here at Snow Lake. Earlier, make our way east. I had to skip a rock. And he just skipped a boulder somehow. But yeah, Sweet. that'll do it for Snow Lake. Thanks for having us. Beautiful, beautiful lake. Now we're making our way out here, back to the car. So, look at this little toad friend. This dude just living up here in this glorious lake. We just jumped into this guy's home when we went cliff jumping. <laughs> We're just swimming in this guy's hole. Another one, dude? Found another, another little toad. Look at that, dude. They're all sunbathing like we were. <laughs> just getting in the sun. All right, I think we're gonna go tarps off because it's actually getting really hot now. It's about 1.12 p.m. So the temperature's definitely rising. Tarps off. It's flipping hot, man. Can't wait to get back down. <laughs> it's way hotter down here than it was up by the lake. Dropping down into the valley, it's probably raised like 20 degrees, I imagine. And it's not windy in here. There's no breeze. Makes it feel even hotter. One minute. We've been heading down now for about 51 minutes. I think we're getting close. It is hot. I need some electrolytes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Shrank it all. Hell yeah. Give me one sip, dude. That's evil. Made it back to the car. Time to get some electrolytes in. That's what. <laughs> Let's get on over to that campground. Wish us luck. Hopefully, we can find a campsite. go to the campground at a stop at the store and get some goodies for the night a little grocery run we found a spot found a beautiful campsite we showed up here kind of just risking it because we didn't have a spot reserved um, but usually when you come out here there's like spots that people reserve but they're not here that's exactly what this spot is 
they had a reserve but they're not here so I'm gonna get set up here real quick and then we're gonna go to the river down to the river we go campsites right next to a beautiful riverbed this is one of my favorite campgrounds out here it's a fantastic campground is this the spot man gonna get the sun for a little bit longer we're just trying to stay in the sun as long as possible before it goes down <laughs> and this water is even colder than the lake we're just in so we need all the sun we can get dude how are you sitting in that right now it's freezing I don't know how this guy's sitting in there right now. That's crazy. He's dying though, man. I can tell. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, dude. He's just in his own world right now. There's no way that's comfortable. <laughs> I'm shivering. This is great. Second cold plunge of the day. What? This is great. The water's maybe like 40 degrees, maybe, probably a little bit colder. It's freezing, Came, coming straight out of the mountains, the snow melt. But, you gotta do it, man, let's get in. Just sit in for this, just sit in this river for a few minutes. Nice little cold plunge yet again. And then we'll chill in the sun for a bit, warm up. He's dunking his head now, man, the guy's a maniac. Good now, baby. He's already done two minutes. Now I gotta do my two minutes. It's rolling too quick. Stand right here. Oh! Get those toes in. Beers run in. <laughs> Out here chilling. Oh, so cold. It was amazing. All right, I'll check back in with you guys in a couple minutes when I'm done with this. Oh, man. Don't get it. It was so good, but it's freezing. Now we're feasting on some watermelon, warming up in the sun. Cold plunges, they never get easier. They're always tough at first. Like get like forcing yourself to get into the cold water is always suck. <laughs> but once you finish and you're sitting out here like this in the sun, oh man, it feels so good. You're like on cloud nine. <laughs> Especially with some delicious watermelon, dude. Yes. It's been a day so far, man. What a great day. Later on, we're going to be growing up some steak and chicken at the campground. Let me get, a, let me get some melon, dude. Mm. That's so good. Got a little crawdad friend here. Look at that guy. Try and catch it, dude. We'll grill it up. We can grill it on the on the barbecue tonight, man. Have a little crawdad. Steam it up, dude. A little Boil seafood, a little seafood and steak. Boil it up. There it is again. Look at it. What's up? Just cruising, dude. What's up, little dude? It seems too cold for them, but I don't know why. I don't know where else would they be? I guess. I guess this river is crawdads. All right, so we're gonna soak up the rest of the sun before it drops behind the mountain there. And then once it drops behind there, we'll probably make our way back to the campsite and uh, start grilling up some chicken and some steaks. All in all, man, just a chill day. Just hanging out, enjoying the views, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the great P&W. Just taking in the summer while it lasts because it's pretty short-lived here in Washington, but.
So the sun has officially gone behind the trees down to that spot. So the sun wasn't shining on us anymore. So now we're walking back to our campsite. This is one of the reasons why I love this campground so much. It's because you can just walk on this little trail straight from the campsite right to the river. No need to drive or nothing. Just literally walk onto this trail straight from your campsite. Boom, right to the river. It's pretty awesome. Literally got burnt out there, dude. You got a little sunburn? We got burnt from walking down there. <laughs> Okay, I've got a little red today in the sun. I mean, just look how beautiful. Such a beautiful campground, I love it. Alrighty. We just got changed after our cold plunge. Now we're going on a little walk around the campground. Just a little evening walk, man. It's beautiful out here. Great place to do it. Let me stick a little heel clicker, dude. Parkour! Oh. Alright man, let's see what we got. <laughs> Looks like a 30 year old man, dude. Ah, look at this, man. Beautiful evening in the woods. I love the sun poking through the trees, dude. It's awesome. Well, slight change of plans here. We uh, had to move camping spots. We uh, were trying to talk to the host. We couldn't find them. We wanted to make sure that the spot we were in was a good spot and we weren't taking someone's spot. We ended up in a different site. So, still a great site. Still beautiful. Trees. Either way, we are still in this campground. We still have a place to stay for the night, so that is all that matters. <laughs> One little scary thing, though, is that the camp host informed us that there's black bears out here. And they actually had a black bear rummaging around last night, apparently. Yeah, so this is our new campsite. At least we have a place to stay for the night. That's all that matters. Now let's make some dinner. Okay, we got our tent set up. This will be home for the night. Beautiful views. And then we got Caleb over here. Preparing dinner. Steak with this? We're about to be grubbing tonight, man. We got chicken shawarma and we got some steak. And then we're gonna saute some vegetables. It's gonna be a feast, man. It's gonna be good. Got the veggies on too now. Seasoning it on there. Yeah. Ah, oh, smells so good already. All right, feast is cooked. Dish it on up, brother. Oh, yes. Get you some veggies, man. Yeah. Get a little onion oh, yeah, get, get you a good one, man. Get you a good one. A oh, onion. yep. That's a great one. A couple mushrooms. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the one. Yeah, right? Oh no, that wasn't. That's the one, dude. Yeah, that chicken on here, man. Oh yeah, get some of these veggies, man. Oh no. Oh, 
No man left behind. Let's go. Let's go. Cheers. Oh, so good. Some veggies too. Mm, mm, mm. How is it, man? Not bad. Pretty dang good, eh? Not too bad for a camping meal. Not too bad at all. Like those people that just house their food and play. Just <laughs> yeah. First hot meal. I could easily day. do that right now, man. Being modest. <laughs> This is our setup for the night. Just little stringer lights. You can't really see us, I don't think, very well. I shine a light on me, you can, probably. Still can't see me. What the hell? Shine right on me. <laughs> we got our stringer lights set up. There's Caleb over there. Once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, so there's a burn van right now, so we're not allowed to have campfires. So we got our stringer lights set up in my car. So at least we have a little bit of light to sit under. And we're just hanging out, man. Shooting the breeze. Enjoying a beautiful night sky. The stars are popping out right now, so it's beautiful. And then we'll be getting up bright and early for a morning run. All right, buddy. All right, keep it down. We'll see you in the morning, eh? <laughs> yeah. I don't got no good sleep. Pil blank? See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you got another blanket? Not for you. See you in the morning. Fine. It is time for some shut eye. We'll see you guys in the morning. up good to like two or three or something. I slept like a little baby dude. The whole night. <sighs> I think we're probably gonna go on a little run this morning. A little two miler, three miler, something like that. And then we'll make some coffee. Just kind of playing in my ear today, so let's we'll see how it goes. Time for the run. <laughs> let's get after it, man. Yes, dude. Yeah. Time to do a morning run probably about two or three miles just a simple recovery run and uh, keep the training going even though we're out camping We were all stretched out, probably get two or three miles in, and then we're just gonna stop at the river on the way back and do a little cold plunge, like right after the run. 
just feel like a brand new person after this. And I'll check back into the guys once we're done with the run and probably at the river. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Three mile run is done. Average pace, nine minutes, 11 seconds. Uh, total time was just under 28 minutes. So saw a little recovery run, nothing crazy. Just a light three miler to keep the muscles loose, fresh. And uh, now, now we're walking to the river and we're gonna jump in. A little cold plunge after the run. Refresh the muscles, get a little ice bath in. And then we're gonna be good, man, for the rest of the day. This is a great way to start the morning. We have energy all day long. Oh man, this is gonna suck. That is freezing. That's so cold. It feels so good though. You cold plunge is Got her. complete. Got her done. Got her done. Now I just feel absolutely fantastic. Just on cloud nine. <laughs> Feels so good once you finish it. But now we are walking back to the campsite. And I think it's time we make a nice warm cup of Joe. A nice warm cup of coffee. Cannot wait to have this coffee. Good. Let's do it. Back to the campsite. Got changed into warmer clothes. Caleb did too. Now it is time to make a glorious cup of coffee. That a whiff, dude. Yeah. Big old heap and scoop. One. Two. Three. No matter how many times I make it a cup of coffee, it's always so so good. Never get tired of the smell. All right, now we just gotta wait for this water to come to a boil. And we'll be having some coffee, man. Can't wait. Doesn't get much better than this. And it's warm. This little propane thing right now is super warm. After that cold plunge, my fingers and toes are still like super cold. I can barely move my fingers. It's not good, man. So this feels so good. It's just the warmth of the stove. Can't wait just to hug my cup of coffee and just warm my fingers up. <laughs> it's getting close. It's getting real, real close. Turn her off. Dude, that was horrible. It already smells so good. Let's get Caleb's cup going. Here, do the honors. Do the honors. Oh yeah. Smells so good already too. Cheers. Nothing quite like that, man. That's so good. Not too bad. Now we're gonna start getting some stuff packed up here and make our way out of here.
Making another quick cup of coffee for the road. Got our tents put away. Caleb's just waiting for his coffee. Yeah, we're just gonna finish packing up and then we'll be out of here onto the next adventure. So I think I wanna end the video here. So that will do it for this adventure. That will do it for this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. It helps me out more than you know. And be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss future adventures here in the PNW. We'll see you guys in the next one. That's it. Peace. Peace.